Free resources! The next five slides provide students with links to the below resources from this lesson. We strongly encourage students to download and keep these resources for use in future classes. Online Thesaurus and Rewordify, Four-Step Paraphrase Process Diagram, In-Text Citation Guide, Narrative In-Text Citation Word List, and Paraphrase Assessment Rubric. All right, let's look at these really quickly. Let's see what these resources are about. The synonym resources. The online thesaurus is used to look up words and change to synonyms. And I used that t today when I did my uh, training here for you. So let's look up one of the words I did look up, which was clear. And let's see how I found the synonym sunny. As you can see here, you scroll down here and there's sunny as well as a whole bunch of other choices that I could have chosen. All right, let's move back and look at the next resource, which is Rewordify. It's used to make complex paragraphs easier to understand in the paraphrasing process. This is so that you can understand it better. It's not meant to take the place of you writing your own paraphrasing. And if you just copy and paste that into your paper, what it gives you, you're going to get dinged for plagiarism. But let's look at this resource now because it really can help you when you get more complex language. So I'm going to paste in a paragraph I found earlier and we're going to rewordify that text. When you look down here you're going to see now that it says educational test evaluation is the well thought out process of recording, writing down, and using based on actually seeing things, data on the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and beliefs to make better or make more pure programs and improve student learning. And that's much, much better than reading educational assessment is the systematic process of documenting and using empirical data on the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and beliefs to refine programs and improve student learning. It gives you it broken down so that it's easier for you to understand it. And when it's easier for you to understand it, it's easier for you to paraphrase it. And that's why we gave you this tool. Let's move on to our next resource, which is creating a paraphrase diagram in four steps. Remember, it's really simple. Change the synonyms, change the numbers, change the structure, and add the in-text citation. That's all there is to creating a paraphrase. All right, let's move on here. We're going to look at the next thing, which is the in-text citation guide, which allows students to quickly and accurately determine the correct format for their parenthetical or narrative in-text citation. Now, we've already pulled these up in both PDF and Google Doc format, so let's look at those. Here it is in PDF format. This is great for forwarding on to your friends. Anybody you want to share this with, you're more than welcome to do so. You print out a copy and you keep it with you when you're writing and you say, oh my goodness, how do I do a citation now that I've got an article with three authors and you just look right here and it's going to tell you how to do it. Now, when you get even more advanced, you want to may add to this, so you can do that by downloading the Google Docs one, and um, then you'll actually have an editable version of it for you. All right, let's move on here, and let's look at the next one, which is your narrative in-text citation word list, and it's a quick reference for students to expand their narrative citations. There's so many keywords to replace the word state in narrative in-text citations. And the table below was developed to provide students with those additional suggestions. So let's look at that in PDF and Google Docs format. Um, if we look at that over here, we'll see here we have it in the PDF format. Share that with anyone you want to. And then once you get more comfortable, you may go, you know, I have a lot of synonyms for states and demonstrations straights and for predicts and relates and for investigates, identifies, and argues. But I want to add to my list. And when you get to that point, there you go. Bam, there's your word, your Google Doc, and that's going to allow you to add to the list because we always want you to advance continuous quality improvement. That's what our tutorials are all about. Let's move on to the next one. Narrative um, paraphrase assessment rubric. Now this is a 20 points possible. This is half of your grade for your extra credit and it allows a student to self-evaluate newly created paraphrases using the four rules of paraphrasing. Remember those, original, accurate, objective, and complete. And then let's look at that assessment rubric. And here we have it again in our familiar PDF. You print this when the, you know you're not going to be around computers or if you want to share it with someone else. But download this one to your Google Sheets because it's going to actually allow you, you can fill this out, you can put in the points you've earned. Um, we're going to go ahead and give them five points. 
And what you'd see is as you get down here to the bottom, it's actually going to calculate that for you. So that's a really good tool for you as well. Um, that's pretty much all that we have to say today. Um, like I said, let's always have fun in this classroom. Let's be honest and courageous. Be creative and kind. Be punctual and respectful. Be fair and use teamwork to have fun while we learn. All right, I'll see you next time. See you on the flip side. Bye.